just like everybody. Why are we doing it again? What are we doing again? All right, everybody, welcome to Sec IC. Um, is there a seven meeting? So uh, I want to let you guys know about our updated privacy policy. <laughs> May have heard about APR. Uh, it went into effect. So um, if you'd like to continue hearing from us, uh, just don't walk out right now. So Sec IC, um, has anyone uh, never been here before? Oh, a few people. All right. <laughs> Come on, get a sticker. Yeah, the uh, feel free to grab some, stri some stickers. Um, we are CitySec, um, unaffiliated collection of informal meetups for like-minded security professionals. Uh, come here to learn InfoSec stuff that you can you can use in your your day job and um, non-vendor setting. And we have beer and pizza. So uh, we are a five hundred one c three public charity. We have swag. Do we have any patches left? We have tons of patches. Okay. Everyone yep. Patches. No, We've got only patches. A few left. Uh, only a few left. They're a limited edition. Um, the limited edition price is five dollars a patch. Tonight only. Um, stickers are free. Tonight only. It goes up. After tonight it goes up. Yep. <laughs> All right. Disclaimer: uh, We exist as an educational entity. We do not condone any illegal activity. Uh, code of conduct: Don't be an ass. Uh, we have final say of what that constitutes. If you have any issues, talk to one of the board members. Uh, second disclaimer, we do not support the Circle City Conspiracy or the Illuminati lizard people that are surely behind it, for anybody that was at Circle City Con. So, uh, yep. I don't know how that's going to happen, but yep. No Circle City Conspiracy support here. All right, business in the front, party in the back. Uh, we've got the pizza and the beer inside this time because we're sharing the space. What's going um, on outside? There's a there's a fashion show out there if you guys would rather be out there. Um, we've got that we've got that shirt. soda if you're <laughs> yeah. Come on, this is the official garb of Southern Lentilles. Um, yeah, so soda uh, only drink beer if you're uh, of age. Uh, clean up after yourselves. Um, I think we're pretty good about that. We use disposable stuff. Just clean up after yourselves makes clean up easier for all of us. Uh, bathrooms are over here. You can go around that way. Um, I probably wouldn't advise yeah, coming here. Right yeah, just go go around there, around the corner. And um, yeah. sponsors, uh, Merge is the location. They let us use this space for free, and that's awesome. So, um, if you're looking for a co-working place uh, somewhere, you know, you work from home and you want to change the scenery, you can come down here. Um, I think they've got offices for um, if you if you want to locate your entire office here. Uh, we do have sponsorship opportunities available. Uh, hit us up at that email address or just talk to us on Slack. Tonight's agenda, uh, Sec IC 101, we're doing it. Sec IC News is afterwards. It's never actually that time. Our first talk is Zach Zaffis, how to blue team the shit out of your network. And the second talk will be Brandon Murphy using Hugin for situational awareness. That's not hugging. It's not hugging, it's Hugin. So next month's agenda, uh, we don't have any talks lined up for sure, I think. Oh no, Greg submitted the talk. I, did submit that. I didn't get it on the slide deck, but uh, we've got one other sleep speaker slot open. So uh, go to our website, and if you scroll down, there's a submit a talk link. We'd love to, to have you know people other than the board members come up here. And <laughs> we've had some other talk speakers, but um, yeah, come up and give a talk. Uh, it's great, great environment. Uh, it doesn't have to be super technical. It doesn't have to be, uh, uh, you know, zero day. Um, if it's if it's in infosec related, come up, give a presentation. We'd love we'd love to have people talking. Are there any benefits to being a speaker? There are. You get a patch. And, and you can put yeah. it on your resume. Yep. Yeah, you can, you can definitely put it on your resume. I'll give you a dying um, room too. And if you don't want it to be recorded or streamed, it's up to you. So don't feel like you you have to do that. So uh, these are the board members. We're all kind of here-ish, except for Matt, who's back there. You wearing the same shirt? I <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's the same shirt, man. <laughs> so, uh, so the contact information. <laughs> um, really, the best way to talk to us is on Slack. Go to our website, secic.org. You can click Slack at the top, or just scroll down. Um, sign up, something happens, and then you prop it. Uh, this is what Slack looks like for anybody that's never seen it. Uh, when you get in, you won't have any channels. Just click channels and you'll, you'll get into some. We have some shared channels with SecDSM. 
uh, jobs. We've got a, a, just a shared sec IC, sec DSM one, and when a con's coming up, we usually set up the channel for talking about that. Upcoming cons, um, besides Las Vegas in August. Um, Durcon is in September, and DerbyCon is in October. These are the ones that we are probably going to. So come with us, it'll be fun. Existing. Financial transparency. Mojito. <laughs> All, right. All right. So next, we're going to go over the financial transparency. I want to make sure it's good. So I get right? Is it the right one this time? Okay. So, <laughs> so last month, previous balance was one thousand and forty dollars. Uh, the expenses we had again last month uh, was one hundred and five dollars. Uh, we had at the last meeting $45 in donations and badges, and then uh, we had a $300 sponsorship. So the total uh, it looked at as of uh, noon today was uh, $240 with a current balance of $1,270. However, uh, next month, you'll see it when I bring the slide, uh, we did not have a sponsor this month, so we will, we will take a hit for that one. So if you guys know of any uh, any uh, vendor or if your company wants to sponsor, please come and talk to us and let us know. <coughs> and next we have the news. I'm going to trip and fall. I'm Yak. Very similar. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm going to bring news. Greg? So, I apologize for the language. I know it's PG-13, but I did find a disclaimer on the PG-13 rating site that uh, the ratings board can still award PG-13 if passed by two-thirds majority, they believe the language is justified uh, by the context. So if I say fuck too many times, apparently it's cool if I use it appropriately. <laughs> Sorry, just leave that in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> first story, um, I put my own headline in some of these, Epic Beer Man fucked himself by Chitty Opsec. Uh, so, <laughs> OxyMonster, <laughs> admin of the dream market, had a Bitcoin tip jar that uh, he didn't launder his Bitcoins appropriately. So, you know, the feds figured this out and tracked him through his Bitcoin usage. And then, awesomely enough, they arrested him when he hit the U.S. for the World Beard and Mustache Championships. <laughs> Which is just super awesome, right? And he had a really nice beard. I'm kind of jealous. Oats jealous. Oh, so yeah, point is, OPSEC. Uh, 17 backdoor images removed from Docker. They were all posted by the same user handle right there, downloaded over 5 million times. Uh, and then I put here, because your shitty DevOps team probably downloaded this shit, watch out for Python and reverse shells, bash reverse shells, and crypto coin miners. Uh, once found, bash DevOps about the head and smash their computers. Uh, so anyway, yeah, they, uh, they were all like MySQL, uh, Tomcat servers. They were pretty basic, uh, basic images, but... Uh, they were taken down. As a, as a pro tip, though, like, don't download stuff from Docker 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, right, in, in general. <laughs> Watch the calendar to buy stuff from Docker 4, 5, 6. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, uh, fake internet money stolen from fake internet money exchange. Uh, somehow actual real money lost. So CoinRail. <laughs> CoinRail is a South Korea-based cryptocurrency exchange. They were owned, lost a bunch of ICOs, which I had to look this up. What the hell is that? Initial coin offerings? Oh, yeah. So apparently now they have fake other things. Uh, so anyway, it cost them between 30 to $40 million. And so then just my thing, it's fucking fake money. So, you know, you're going you're gonna to lose it, right? So you mean 25 to 30 million? 37 to 45 million? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah now it's not worth shit. <laughs> yeah. And then I found this this graphic. I was looking for shitty graphics, and I found this one: how to make a million dollars. And all I can think about is the way to make money in cryptocurrency is just to steal somebody else's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one: Chinese security firm Kuhu 360 Total Security, which is like the worst name ever. Anyway, they found 300,000 machines affected with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, clipboard hijackers, right? So they would look at your clipboard for a Bitcoin address, and then they'd like overlay it with their own. Uh, but the most amazing thing about this was they had 300,000 machines and they only amassed 0 0.1243421 Bitcoin. So I'm sitting here thinking, uh, sitting here thinking, if you got 300,000 machines, you could have probably made a lot more money mining or, I don't know, selling them to somebody. I, what, what a shitty criminal that was. 
anyway, they were all in China. It sounds like neighbor, neighboring countries, but that could have been a great bot down. So how often yeah. do you copy your private key? Hey, man, maybe a lot. Maybe not as much. <laughs> uh, who knows? Uh, let's see. I think this is the last one. Yeah, last one. Uh, insider threat, right? This is fun. This Grunel Tesla employee broke into the company's manufacturing operating system, stole a bunch of uh, sensitive data on the Model 3, and started handing it out to a bunch of third parties, which is awesome. Uh, key here is he was denied a promotion, so don't ever do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Don't ever, don't ever deny somebody who's got access to all your shit. Um, anyway, uh, Elon Musk. It kind of hit a bunch of news sites, so uh, just kind of a you know, note on insider threat. They still suck. They're still out there. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> Jobs. Anybody have a job? Looking for a job? Know of any job openings? University's not hiring anymore, are they? No, they're done. Yeah, and you're broke. Yeah. <laughs> and you run out of money. Yeah, ten more back pretty hard. Prospect is hiring. We're looking for probably two red team, two blue team interns. So not your local stuff. We're trying to break into the market. Blue team being specifically sim and then kind of sysadmin type of work. Uh, red team being red team. Is that like a summer gig? Is it tied to the school year? Or um, no, I think they're three month stints with the renewability up to X amount of months. Okay. And we're picking our chopping for a long time. So. And if you're on the red team, you get to work with Zach. It's true. I don't know how much and it comes to losing. I don't know what that's worth. <laughs> <laughs> so depending yeah. on your behavior. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> take, take that for what it's worth, right? Anybody else? Anybody? Anybody at all? Anything down in the Moines area that you know, Brandon? There's lots, actually. Not like last time I looked, I was like, man, I wish I was looking for a job right now. <laughs> but uh, I know Federal Home Loans and Bank is still looking. Um, I think the principal. We've got some contractor positions open if anyone wants to try that out on the pen test team. Um, they're all over. Yeah, I've, I've seen a bunch down at the point area. Yeah, there's quite a bit going on. There is a shared jobs channel in the Slack. So if you join it, uh, we share it with SAC DSM. So you'll see. Uh, yeah, so pretty much covers all the jobs in the state of Iowa for the yeah, most part. Right? Well. I mean, so nobody in Council Bluffs is hiring. Oh yeah, there are a bunch of recruiters on there too. Yeah, <laughs> annoying as they may be, but we love those. What's up? We're looking a little bit uh, near like Sean Burton's private area. My company's hiring uh, two uh, infotech people for like the government PCI compliance side. And they're looking for people who are currently maybe sysadmins looking to transition to security. Sean Burton. That would be part of it near Chicago. It's not so bad. Or long commute. Yeah, or, <laughs> yeah, or get up yeah, really or goddamn early. Like it's Chicago from here is like the same as where it's from now. So. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's true. That's true. That's true. all right. That's so. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you have to hit you up on Slack if you're interested. Yeah. And it's it, it is at Paul, right? Yeah, Paul. On Paul. Right on. Anyone? Anyone else? Okay. All right.